Now that we know how to handle data from the command line, we're going to see how to execute algorithms. That is what we eventually want to do to perform special data analysis with Sextante. And this is what we are going to see in this video. I open the command line interface. And the first thing that I have to do is to know how to call a certain algorithm, the algorithm that I want to execute. I'm going to make a very simple example using the slope algorithm. So the first thing that I have to know is that there's a common called run alg, and this is the common that we are going to use to execute all the algorithms. Each algorithm has a name that we have to use to call that algorithm, but we will use that from this comment. So I execute the run alg common and I will pass the name of the algorithm that I want to execute. So the first thing that I have to do is to know the name of the algorithm. If you go to a toolbox, each algorithm has its name, but that is a name that changes if you change the language. Every algorithm has also a name that doesn't change, a fixed name that is the command line name. To know the command line name, of a given algorithm, we can use the args common. That will show me a list of all the algorithms with their names, their, the names in the language that I'm working in, in this case in English, and then it will show the name, the corresponding common line name for that algorithm. Let's see what happens. Here is the list of all the algorithms. And now they are sorted alphabetically, and I see here the name of the algorithm and here the common line name. So I just have to look for the one that I want to execute. In this case, it's slope, and I see here slope, and its common line name is slope. Okay, so in this case, the name, both names, they match the English name and the common line, the common line name. So this is the name of the algorithm, and now what I have to do is to call the describe alg common, which will describe the algorithm and, would, and it will tell me the inputs that it needs and the outputs it generates. So I enter slope here. And this is a description of the algorithm. This is how you have to run it from the command line. I will use the run alg common, then the slope, and then these four parameters. One called dm, which is a raster layer, one called method, which is a selection, then units, which is also a selection, and it's going to generate an output raster layer named slope. Now I have to fill those four parameters, and we are going to see how to do it. If you go to the context help associated to the slope algorithm, you will also find something like this. So whenever you want to know how to execute an algorithm from the common line, you can do it from here using the describe algorithm, but you can also go to the um, to the context help to see there this usage of the algorithm. Okay, so I have to execute the run alg common, then first parameter is the slope. The second is a digital elevation model, and now I have one digital elevation model open in my GIS, you can see there, it's called DM, in case you want to check the input layers that you can use, you can run the data command as we saw in the previous video, so I'm going to use DM. Then the second one is a selection. Selection is a list of things, and I have to select one of them, and in this case I have several different methods, so I have to enter the number that correspond to the uh, option that I want to use. If you want to see which is the number associated to a certain option, what we can do is to execute the options common and then pass the name of the algorithm. And here I see that the first selection is the method and here is the number associated to each one of the options. So let's say that I want to use this maximum triangle slope method then I should enter number one. And if I want my result in degrees, I should enter also number one. Let's use those two options, one and one. So I will again type run alg slope, then dm, then 
then 1 and 1. And the last thing they have to enter, remember, at the, the output layer. So here I should enter a file path, the file path where I want to store this resulting layer. If you want to store this layer in a temporary file, you also have the option. You have to type this here because this symbol means the default option. And the default option for output layers, both raster and vector, is to store them in a temporary file. So I just press enter now, and you see the slope algorithm is being executed, and now I see the slope layer there in my view. You can also use this symbol for other inputs, such as selections. So if I want to use the default units, I will have to use a comment like, like this. I can execute it as well, and you see, there it is.